Good afternoon, Odessa. Good afternoon, Tuman. Okay, Odessa. Can you tell me about yourself? I am Odessa Marigong, 23 years old, single, from a, from Navagan, Aparito, Mayan. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to have a high salary and to help my family in our finances. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Mom, I choose Malaysia to know because I want to know their culture and tradition. How are you qualified for this job? Mom, I am hardworking, honest, and disciplined people. May I know what your educational level is? College level. No. College, graduate, level. or undergraduate? Undergraduate. No. What is your recent working experience? Um, my recent working experience is... Casino or like car dealer. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Ma'am, I don't have an experience of taking care of babies, but I really do take care of both of babies and elderly people. So willing to learn? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, mom. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, mom. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Cleaning, dishwashing, ironing, and laundry. Um, you are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only yes. allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you yes, agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Three years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Ma'am, I am a hard working, honest, respectful, disciplined, kindness, polite. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I assure that I am a hard work, work team, and I, I want to help my family with our finance and I'm really dedicated to my job and I will do my job well and I will follow the rules and regulations that ask me to follow because I don't want to disappoint my employer. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? Yes, ma'am. No. None. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defects? None, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Not yet, ma'am. Medical on process? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? I know, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? No, ma'am, because I want to... Because the contract I want to follow. Okay. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes. Okay, I will repeat again. I, are you prepared to work for the employer of any race here in Malaysia? I follow the contract form when I'm signing. Okay, here in Malaysia, we have three race. Okay. So, are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Random, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Odessa, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away,